think when, when we come home, when we get out of the military, a lot of people just want to come up to us and shake our hands and tell us that we're heroes and not listen to our stories and not have to hear what we have to say, what the experience was like, and what, when a nation decides to go to war, to wage an occupation, what the brutal, dirty reality is. They call it Winter Soldier, Iraq and Afghanistan. Organized by Iraq Veterans Against the War, nearly 300 veterans assembled outside Washington, D.C. from March 13th to 16th to share searing accounts of the occupations. And I thought to myself, oh my God, this is it. This is someone who is trying to hurt us. And so instead of doing what I should have done according to policy and raising my weapon, instead I did what you should never do and I took my hands off of my weapon altogether and began jumping up and down waving my hands back and forth, trying to get this car to stop and see me. The car kept coming. And so I raised my weapon, and the car kept coming. I pulled my selector switch off of safe, and the car kept coming. I was applying pressure to my trigger, getting ready to fire on the vehicle. And out of nowhere, a man came off of the side of the road, flagged the car down, and got it to pull over. And out popped an 80-year-old woman. I am a peaceful person, but yet in Iraq, I drew down on an 80-year-old geriatric woman. Iraq Veterans Against the War has 800 members in 49 states, Washington, D.C., Canada, and on military bases abroad. More joined during Winter Soldier, which was streamed live over the Internet and broadcast on radio and television. So if you're out there listening, there is a fight coming, and it's a fight to improve America and improve this military, and we're asking you to join us. And there's a lot of men and women who are joining us right now. Our website right now is getting more membership applications than we can handle. We'll give you information on how you can resist if you want to stay in the military and you don't want to break Army regulations, if you don't want to get in trouble. There's still ways you can use your amendment rights and join us to end this occupation. Thank you.